today is November, I don't even know. It's the day after Thanksgiving. It's Friday after Thanksgiving. Maybe it's the 26th. Not really sure. I lost track. I came out on the west side to kind of see if I could see the sunset. And let me see. I don't know. I thought it would be much better than what it was. It, it, it wasn't as spectacular as I was expecting. And if you ever look online if you're in florida uh, and they tell you where to see a sunset a lot of the places on the east side like by the beach in my opinion it's very difficult to see the sunset from there i mean that's just me so that's why i came out west to see if i could see it better but it's just not the same as when i was on venice beach uh, that was a really nice experience but anyhow i just wanted to come on i, I got a rant for a little bit and I'm not gonna make this a very long rant. So yesterday uh, was Thanksgiving and we were invited to someone's house. I'm gonna keep this very general in nature. I'm not gonna talk about specific people, but we were invited to someone's house for, for Thanksgiving dinner. We're outside and some time had gone by. I was, I was there for a, little, a, a brief little moment and this person says to both me and my husband you know i'm gonna put you on my diet you know because men like it when you're no longer looking like you used to because they know nobody's gonna look at you and you know, this is somebody that I'm not going to, I'm not going to disrespect. I'm not going to say anything out the way. So I just sat and took it. But this is the question that I have. Why do you feel the need to bring up my weight? We are at a Thanksgiving event where people are going to eat. And, and mind you, I did not even eat much because I wasn't feeling well. When people take it upon themselves to go and address somebody's weight issue, you don't know what somebody's going through. You don't know what if somebody is ill. You don't know if somebody. Um, you don't. You just don't know what their what their underlying circumstances are. You just look at them and you just think, oh well, you're just fat because you eat a lot. You're fat because you're lazy. Now, granted, I'm not gonna sit here and say that my eating habits uh, don't contribute to my weight and my not working out doesn't contribute to my weight because it does, okay? I'm not gonna say that. But what I am gonna say is I don't need somebody to tell me what I look like. I know what I look like. Um, I had to change my clothes several times before I even went to that event, okay? You don't think I felt some kind of way about changing my clothes, not being able to fit into certain things, trying to understand, oh my God, I can't believe I can't fit into this. You're already going through an emotional mess mentally, you know, just to even get to the event and try to look presentable, okay? I don't need somebody to, to tell me that the person that's supposed to love me unconditionally doesn't want me to look better because you know other people will look at me well let me just let me just shed a little light on that i had dropped weight it didn't matter okay however that however i'm looked at now is how i was looked at when i was thinner okay so weight has nothing to do with it in addition to that don't try to attach value to my weight because I'm valuable whether I'm fat or whether I'm thin. There's somebody out here who's gonna like, like what they're gonna like. Just because you see something and you think that, oh, well, men like this, guess what? You will be surprised. If you hung out in the world of man, you would be surprised at what men like. Okay, it is not always that uh, Barbie doll figure that you think. It is not always that skinny girl that you think that they're gonna like. It, 
some some of these men like fat women. Some of them are chub, what we call chubby chasers. It's bugs out here. But anyhow, there are there are chubby chasers out here. So don't sit here thinking that, oh well, um he thinks that You know, I don't know. Whatever you're thinking, you're you're totally wrong. You you so wrong because um, I could get a man whether I'm skinny and I can get a man whether I'm fat. Okay, it doesn't. It, it really does not matter, frankly. Okay, so the sun is kind of going down. I see one of the cars moving. You know, it just bothers me because I would never in a million years fix my mouth to say something to anybody at that event. There were plenty of other women who had weight on them. You know, did this person go to every woman there and say, hey, you know what, you need to lose some weight. Hey, I got a diet for you. You need, you need my diet plan. Did you go to everybody else and say that to them? <laughs> you know, you just came over to me. Why? I wanna know why. What was the specific reason that you felt the need to address my weight? What? I don't understand it because I look around and there is not one person that I would sit there. I don't care if I just saw them and they gained weight. There is no way I'm going to fix my lips to say, oh, what's going on with you? You're, you're, you're bigger. You know, you need a diet. What? Why are you, you done got big, you know, your man not gonna want you if, if, if you have all that weight on you, you need to drop that weight. You know, I, I'm, I am not going to fix my mouth to say anything to anybody about their weight because guess what? People know what they look like. You had to get dressed, you had a mirror in your house, you stood in the mirror, you put your clothes on, you know that if you were a size six and all of a sudden you can't get into it and you're a size 10, 12, 14, 15, whatever it is that you are, you know, you need to, you know, you know what you may need to lose. Okay. That's a personal thing. But my question is, why are you trying to, and, and this is not, this is not a one off. This is not a one time thing. This is often, this is every time I turn around, here's somebody coming to me, talking to me about my weight. Like, Really? You don't, uh, this is what I wanna know. I don't know if you're one of those people who's gotta tell somebody about their weight and tell them that they need to, you know, drop weight and, and get on a diet and this, that, and the other. My question is why? What are you, what, what are you gaining by doing that? What are you getting out of it? That's what I wanna know. I wanna know what you're getting out of telling someone that they need to lose weight. What? Is it benefiting you in any way? Whether they're skinny or fat. That's what I wanna know. So please leave that in the comment section and let me know what is it that you gain by telling people about their weight? Whether they are too skinny or whether they are too fat, why do you need, why do you feel the need to tell them anything? Okay, so let me know that if you're one of those people. And I want to also hear from the people who wouldn't say anything. I mean, if you see your friend, you, you just saw them and, and they had gained weight, are you going to, would you not say anything? And why wouldn't you say anything? I'll tell you for me, I don't need to say anything because you know, they know. And they're going to do, they're going to they're gonna act on it. They're going to do something about it when they are good and ready. Not when you're ready, when they are. I think that it's more harm, it does way more harm than good. So this is my message to people. Leave other people alone. Let them breathe. Let them live. Let them try to get through their day without somebody pointing out a flaw and making them feel any worse than they probably already do. Okay, you don't know what people are going through. You don't know how they're feeling. Let people be, let them live. So that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have a great holiday weekend. <sighs> and I'm going to go somewhere and breathe. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll be back on a better note. Oh, okay. There's that sun. There's that sun setting. <laughs>